Welcome to the vlog, Saturday, February the 9th, and today we are talking about brotherhood, connection, the brothers, the familia, the people that would help you through nearly anything. Now, I don't want to talk about this because, well, I have a confession to make. Stay tuned. Okay, so let me just take a second here. So that building that you see in the background back here, uh, let me just talk about that building for a second. That is the US Army Armory Building. That building is dedicated to housing and containing explosives and weaponry, ammunition, things of that nature. It's an armory. I'm gonna relate that to the topic that I'm talking about today. The brothers in my life, the people that are willing to get into the weeds with me, who are willing to ask the tough questions. Here, let me, I'm gonna, I hope that's better. I actually had the poll, everybody, whatever. So the brothers that get into your life with you, they get into the weeds that are willing to have the tough conversations with you about things that are going on in your life. Uh, those men in my life are extremely special to me. And to be honest with you, it's just being authentic. It's being real and it's talking about the challenges that you face with love and compassion. Today, I actually had that opportunity with a friend of mine. And I just wanna share with you guys uh, the importance of a good connection. So, uh, you know what, let's finish that up somewhere else. Hang on. Again, continuing the conversation on a good connection. So the connections that you have in your life are super critical because of the way in which that they further and better your life situation. The people that are in my life, some of them are deeply connected and want to know what's happening in my life. And some of them, well, frankly, my dear, they just don't. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a Exactly. They don't care. They don't really want to know what's truly happening in your life. They just want to know what you're gonna do for them. It's Johnny Come Lately, it's how can you help me, it's what can you do for me today. Instead of, hey, I see that there are some things going on in your life, and I have questions, and I have wonders, and I wanna know because I care, not because you can help me, or you can further my life, or you can better my career, or anything, just simply that they care. So, here's to all of you who would choose to step into the chaos with me regardless of and irrespective of the fact that I didn't let you in and I probably hurt you. And a quick note for those of you who would be, well, I don't know, judgmental or quick to judge me and not really understand the details of what's happening in my life, I, I don't know what to say to you, but I guess I'm sorry because of the piece that I own, the piece that you own, that's on you. All right, let me explain why I chose the US Army Armory as my backdrop. It's actually quite simple. You see, that, that building and that space over there is reserved to contain explosive content and ammunition. And that's what I really felt like over the last two years of my life. The things were being bottled up, things were being contained, and to be honest with you, I didn't know how I was gonna deal with it. So what I did was I recluse. I pulled everything back inside and I tried my best to handle it on my own. But what I realized today through a conversation with a very dear friend of mine is that I can't do this alone. Thank you very much, you know who you are. I can't go this alone. And I definitely can't do it without other men in my life. So thank you very much for being a guy who would ask a tough question, even when you feared what the repercussion of that question might have been. You are a true friend. And I am so thankful that you kept me from bottling up all of that explosive energy beyond my capability to withstand it and contain it and hold it. And my hope for you guys is that you would take this quick message in my vlog as an opportunity for yourself 
to go find that person in your life who can help you to mitigate disaster. And explosives. That are being bottled up inside of your heart right now so that you might have a better, fuller life. If you're a guy who feels like you're underwater, let me know in the comments below. I have a place with a bunch of men who would love to help you get through it. All right, and just in the spirit of the channel, and kind of for you, Ian, here's some B-roll of the U.S. Army Tank Division in Armour. I can't even make this up, I gotta add this to the vlog. I'm out here taking pictures and I'm doing my thing, I'm doing video, and somebody, wouldn't you know it, they called the cops. Well, I mean, I get it, and it makes sense to me, and I'm thankful that the Warren Police Department came out and checked, because I would want somebody to check as well. I mean, what, what's, what's the motive of this guy with a big old camera? Is he doing the right thing, doing the wrong thing? So they checked everything out and you know he went to go take a take my license plate number and it dawned on me that I had just purchased this car but I hadn't swapped the plate yet. I had the plate in the glove box but I hadn't swapped that out on the car yet and I was like whoa oh my gosh officer the plate and registrations in the glove box I didn't swap it out yet. He's like man you know how that makes you look right now? I go I know bro so he took me over in front of the car two more squad cars pull up actually a squad car and a supervisor pulls up and he's in there running my license and he checks everything out, which it's all legal. I just forgot to actually physically change the plate on the car. And uh, they were super cool. I'm, let me just say this, Warren Police Department, thank you so much for doing your due diligence and thank you for everything that you did to make sure that what was happening out here was legit, legal, and safe. I appreciate it so much. And for those of you who would be totally against the police for coming out and making sure things are safe, come on, man. Like. Just cooperate with them. If there's something going on that's shady, you're gonna act shady. Just be honest. That's it for the vlog. Thank you guys for being here. Click subscribe, and I hope you like the little bit of B-roll that I got of the US Army Armory building. Uh, it is a very cool looking building, and I appreciate it in the skyline. So with that, comment below, give this a like, subscribe, hit the bell, and we will see you tomorrow. Almost the 10th of February already. Crazy.